Japan, Tatsumi Fujinami. Known as the Dragon, Tatsumi Fujinami debuted in 1971. He quickly rose to prominence, capturing the WWE Junior Heavyweight Championship in 1978. Fujinami's influence on the sports entertainment industry is undeniable. I watched his wrestling uh, when I was a kid. He opened the door to get this opportunity. Fujinami's reign in Japanese pro wrestling spanned three decades. The legendary Lou Thez called Fujinami one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. In 2015, Fujinami was paid the highest honor when he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I have the honor and the privilege of inducting a Japanese wrestling legend. This man is a household word when you speak of wrestling. He's the greatest wrestler in the history of Japan. It is my honor, ladies and gentlemen, to induct Tatsumi Fujinami into the WWE 2015 Hall of Fame. In 1991, all eyes focused on Tokyo as WCW presented a dream card of epic proportions. Battle lines were drawn. Fujinami would face fellow WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair in front of nearly 65,000 fans. Fujinami, to be the man! You gotta beat the man! In the main event, two men would walk in champions, but only one would be victorious. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 243 pounds, the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, Nature Boy, Ric Flair. There he is, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, one of the most decorated competitors of all time, as well as perhaps the player in the game. <laughs> he certainly is accomplished, JR. But you have to wonder what's going through his mind as he enters potentially hostile territory here in Japan. And his opponent, from Oita, Japan, weighing 238 pounds, the heavyweight champion, Tatsumi Fujinami. Tatsumi Fujinami getting a hero's welcome as he prepares to battle Ric Flair for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And like Flair, Fujinami is an incredibly decorated competitor, JR, as well as a highly dangerous man who has innovated many of his own signature maneuvers. Field advantage certainly favors Tatsumi Fujinami here in this one, King. Yeah, and on top of that, Ric Flair will be going against one of the most ingenious offenses of all time. An offense that has earned Tatsumi Fujinami the nickname Dragon. The Nature Boy certainly has his hands full here tonight. But if anyone could find a way to beat Tatsumi Fujinami here tonight in Japan, it's Ric Flair. Also, keep in mind, King, that a stipulation for this match includes that you can not throw anyone over the top rope or you will be disqualified clearly on a mission here he's taking his opponent to school here his mitts 
midsection, taking a lot of damage here. going to be hard to rebound from that one he hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe watch it watch it oh that's not right smacking him in the back of the head Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. Look out! Man, oh man, that's gotta hurt. Whoa! Don't get up! Whoa! Whoa! That's it! He's out! He... Well, there's a cover, JR. Whoa. This could be it. Come on! Oh, flair has got his foot on the rope. Title on the line. Tatsumi Fujinami thinks he's got the win. No, Flair's foot was definitely on the rope. It absolutely was. And now the Nature Boy, the dirtiest player in the game, trying to get a little hard oh. to catch him. What a chop. And another chop from Fujinami. Fujinami and Flair are in danger of being counted out. The referees are reluctant to count him out. No one wants to see a count out here. And I hate those chops, but Flair is the master of delivering them. Look at this. Oh, oh, the referee. Burnley just got ran over. And look at this, the roll-up. Fujinami's got the roll-up, but nobody there to count. Flair and Fujinami, title on the line. Oh, a backside, JR, backside, he's down. Look at that, one, two. Well, Flair's up. There's no referee. Get some help out here. Inside cradle. Again, no one there to count. And these guys are pulling out all the stops, but we need an official out here. And what a match here. Flair, Fujinami, the World Heavyweight title. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, the elevation referee is down. Fujinami elevated Flair over the top rope. That would be a disqualification. Yeah, this thing should be over right now. If the referee saw it, King. And now, oh man, and Flair suplex back into the ring. From the outside back in, Nature Boy Rick Flair being taken to school here. And pinning combination out of the Abdominal stretch and what? Tatsumi Fujinami He's has, won. has won the match. The original referee is still down. This replacement ref has made the count. And look at this. There's that trophy. There's the world championship. In 1989, Luke Williams and Butch Miller made their final stop from wrestling around the globe to the hub of sports entertainment. The Bush There's a new tag team. They are the Bushwhackers. Just as quickly as the untamed tandem had arrived, the Bushwhackers endeared themselves to the WWE Universe with their peculiar antics, trademark march, and palette for licking heads. Bushwhackers, they are most eccentric. Bloody lovely, tell your mother! <laughs> As the Bushwhackers marched their way to their peak of popularity in 1991, the boisterous manager Jimmy Hart would go on to devise a devious plan in an attempt to gain tag team supremacy. This act would transpire during a six-man tag team match between the Nasty Boys and Earthquake versus Tugboat and the Bushwhackers. What a six-man tag we're about to see. This is the class of the big people. But both tagging out for some reason, and the earthquake going to work right away. Down to the cap. Oh. One, 
Unexpected tugboat treason, a new formidable tag team had emerged. The earthquake, the typhoon, together you're talking about tonnage, baby! The natural disaster! Nobody can stop us! As the natural disasters ran roughshod through the WWE, and with the tag team titles in their sight, the destructive duo's first obstacle on their path to tag team glory would be a match at the 1991 SummerSlam against a team looking to exact retribution, the Bushwhackers. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall. Coming down the aisle, led by their manager, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, at a total combined weight of 857 pounds, here are Typhoon, Earthquake, the Natural Disasters. Good grief. Will you take a look at these two hulks of humanity? The Bushwhackers will have their hands full tonight with the natural disasters. You got that right, JR. And I don't think Andre the Giant is going to be too much help, though you got to get that feeling that he's going to get involved one way or the other. Big time tag team matchup on tap. Well, here they come. Here yeah. they come, King. JR, how can you like these guys? Well, they are kind of enjoyable. They're, they bring a smile to my face. That's not easy to do. I'm going to tell you something. These two morons, well, they got, hey, they got a big, big task ahead of them. No pun intended, Jerry. You're right about With that. Earthquake and uh, Typhoon. I think that is their real name. Yeah, I think they should change their name to the Tank Brothers. Sherman and Septic. Look at them. Look at the size of Earthquake. Oh, my God. There you are, Luke and Butch. Put your arm down. You're losing friends. New Zealand. New Zealand's contribution, along with Tony Gurria and a couple of sheep to the uh, WWE. Sheep Let's get him on right there. Look at this on the outside. What is going on out here? They're doing their best impersonation of the two Stooges. What's one shimp? Luke, Butch, and shimp. And look at that, now they get next to Andre. Hey, Andre's a pretty good backup. You're not kidding. Jimmy Hart out there with that megaphone trying to restore some order here. How can you, how can you condone that loud mouth Jimmy Hart? What do you mean? I love Jimmy Hart. Good grief. Keep on dancing, Jimmy. Keep on dancing, city boy. the giant certainly has a vested interest in this one after jimmy hart that's oh my gosh this bushwhacker jr i i've been in the ring with him i think his roll-on has rolled off Gee, look at this ow ow biting right to the glutamus maximus or the butt cheek and that's a lot of biting to do there on typhoon and uh, the referee's starting to slowly lose control Earthquake hits his own partner. Look at these bushwhackers, they are. They're idiots. Oh! Double teaming Typhoon right into Earthquake. The bushwhackers just, I mean, they don't seem to be concerned Ooh, about how large their, their opponents are here, do they? Very unique teamwork here. Ah! Between Luke and Butch. And now look at them. 
Look at the typhoon and earthquake that National Disasters on the outside. I'm telling you, the Bushwhackers have run off two of the biggest men in this business. Could it be their owner? I think so. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Oh, what impact. Oh, no, that slam didn't look pretty. He's able to make a tag. He makes the tag. A ferocious clothesline. Just devastating. Tremendous reversal. Clearly on a mission here. Stopped him dead in his tracks. That was a ton of velocity. He reversed it. Easily avoided. He's in big trouble. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. He makes the tag. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Here's the cover. Plenty of fight left. That hand had a lot of force behind it. And he finally heads back out of the ring. Finally, we might get some... Hey. Well, this epic oh. tag team matchup continues. Natural disasters against the Bushwhackers. Oh, there's another one of those classic Bushwhackers. Oh, this. Stopping the feet. Goodness. Earthquake now once again. Well, the, the bushwhackers who survive, they've got to quicken the pace, and that ain't what that's not what's happening right now. Look at the size of these guys. Look at Earthquake. Do you know JR his car has stretch marks? Oh no! Look at this! He's a big man. The whole arena's shaking. Can you match these guys in the buffet? Uh oh, look out, look out, look out. Oh no! Oh, take a seat. Have a seat and that's have a three it. count. That is it. Back to New Zealand they go. Look at Jimmy Hart. He's so happy. Yeah.